All right. Uh, we're going to yes. take a look. Whoa, he's 1,700 in this one. Let's go. 1,700 versus 1,800 versus chilling. Italians, Britons is kind of hard because Britons is going to play the longer range uh, archers. So you kind of are stuck on skirms, but then Britons adds in um, either knights or they add in mangonels. So you kind of uh, might want to change it up and play like knights. Knight skirm here as Italians could be okay. Or you could try and get something done with early drush and drush into archers. Your archers are the same um, stats wise as the Britons in the feudal age. His train 10% faster, but still. So you can go drush flush. You could try and hit cross one time before he gets up, but it's a very uh, limited strategy. You probably want to be on skirms. But then, obviously, as I said, he goes. He goes knights or mangonels to counter the skirms so you sort of want to have your own knights here i think are these house too far away no nah, i like it i think walling this walling this is okay maybe maybe it's unnecessary but with the berries here he can wall like that or he can wall like here 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 and here here so he could have not gone out to here he could have just gone out to like Actually, even even here, 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 keep this um, exposed and just resource wall. But then Britons gets the front. You can do big walls. Like, looks like we're, we're going towards these walls. It's kind of awkward to wall, though. Um, yeah, it could be, could be how we're looking to wall. Like, walling this and then walling to the house is okay, too. We really don't need to wall this space, but, like, walling down to the house here. Then we have at least this hill here covering the berries as well cover the farm space and, and at least the hills are sort of wallable like if we can go just on the this side of the the uh hill it can be better then we have the hill he doesn't have the hill it can help um yeah gonna be not really criticizing the dark age at all like overall it seems to be pretty good this is, well, 1,700 level, so I expect to have a pretty good Dark Age. And, uh, yeah, it's really focused more on the strategy here at this level. So, what are we going to do? We're going to go for straight skirms, it looks like. Or scouts, either one. Okay, did, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. did we skip loom? No. Okay, we didn't need to do this. I guess if you were concerned about a drush from the enemy. Actually, his his score is pretty high, so that's probably what you're thinking. It was just because he was scouting a lot. Did he even push his deer? He didn't even push his deer, so... Well, not pushing your deer is a, such a big disadvantage these days. Yeah, stable. I like it. Honestly, I think leaning into the... Uh, leaning into the knight play is good here, because the Britons are going to beat you in the archer front. So, why not play Italians as more of like a knight civ? And they have fully upgraded knights... They, they have fully upgraded Cavalier. They don't have Paladins, but they're pretty good. Okay. A lot of idle time on the Vils, though. That seems to be a bit of an issue. Just got to make sure... Basically, you got to make sure to shift you to the next uh, task, always. Always shift you to the next task, be it the next goat, from the hunt to the goats... If there's no more goats, you shift you to the the trees. Just anytime you queue a vill, like mo or at least a lot of times you queue a vill, just go back to the TC, select the vills, shift queue to the next thing that you want them to work on, and it's uh, it can help with the efficiency and, and prevents your vills from going idle. We idled 16 seconds in Dark Age or in Feudal again. Ay ay ay! This was the same as last game. So w something in early Feudal Age is not quite smooth. It just takes a bit of it more experience, but yeah, it's not perfect. I think this is open, by the way. Pretty sure. Okay. You're, you're going too far away as well. Like, we, we didn't need to go this far. You're trying to sneak, but going through the center would have been fine. He knows you're here, I'm pretty sure. One lumber camp allows you to get units out a little bit faster because you're not investing in the second lumber camp, but in the end, it'll hurt your economy. Okay, th these this house wall is bad, though. I don't really know what you're thinking with this. If you're going to secure this wood line, you want to go to here. If you're not going to secure the wood line, just go to here. But I, I think I think bigger walls is fine here, like even to the edge. Like 
you go to the here and you go to here yeah yeah that, that would have been optimal if you had this scouted you probably don't though oh no you do you don't know if it goes to the edge here but like walling to there would have been better okay and uh oh looks like we actually picked off a unit here let's let's go back and uh see what happened here looks like we went for this guy nice good job nice yeah really good you discovered his army you have skirms it's only two though it's kind of sketchy i guess there's the wolf though the lion can be annoying to him while you attack him if he shoots like while he's shooting the lion you can be shooting him with the uh the skirms it's actually it does sort of make a difference here if he if he uses a volley on the lion then your skirms can get in a bit close for free Oof, leaving the skirms on their own is definitely this is good play by red red idled his tc for 42 seconds though so you're in a pretty good spot here yeah this is <laughs> one more shot yeah and now this these guys come back in and these guys need to be going towards the archers all right whatever just run just go back no need to be here you're, you're walled right this needs to be walled to here but actually this i'm i'm fairly sure this is open we need to be realizing that. Okay, killing a, killing a scout was great. Now your skirms are going to have a lot better time. Okay. Kind of awkward wall. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. TVH. Okay. Nice. Bring the scouts, though. Bring the scouts. Bring the scouts you gotta you gotta bring the scouts so they attack once the spears are gone or at least yeah you could have killed everything there i think although you, you do have three dead guys almost so maybe not maybe not careful yeah fletching is good i like it you can put the pressure you just got to keep the units producing too you can make another scout don't lose scout hp for free Honestly, I would probably just auto scout with the the almost dead one. I would just auto scout with this guy. The information that you can gain is is pretty good. Okay, let's see the micro. He has a hill. If you had armor here, ah, yeah, but you know he's going scouts. Now it's getting a little sketchy. You gotta be careful. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. You'll, you'll get the spear. Nope. Go for an archer. Beautiful. Nice, nice. Good micro. Great micro. Nice. And you go for this. No. Oh, skirms are walking too long. There we go. Nice. You always, like, as soon as you engage, you got to have the skirms on those archers. You have to punish him. He's going to shoot your scouts, and you have to punish the archers. So you have to have the, the uh, skirms hitting the archers. Nice shot. Oh, he had a, a straggler. Classic pathing. Okay, careful though. Yeah, go to the hill. Where's where's the army? Nice. You're doing a lot better job because you're not idling your TC during this. And th that's where the difference in this game is coming from, is that your opponent is... He's doing good micro as well, but he's idling his TC at the same time. Whereas you're at the level where you're not idling the TC during this. So you have a lot of practice with this, it looks like. So... The initial stages are still not perfect, but once you get to here, it seems like you're a little bit more comfortable. You got to go towards the archers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Nice. Uh, you, you got this, right? It's close. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Where's the reinforcing? Oh, my God. All, like, all of your fights are always so close, actually. Ah, oh, man, he's going to clean this now, though. You, we didn't have any other scouts in the queue. Too late on the scouts, but whatever. It's fine. You're ahead in the eco. You just need to make market and go up. Okay, this market. Oof, oof, oof. Now the wall is just horrible. Honestly, like, it needed to be here. Dude, your your wall is just Swiss cheese. Like, we spent so much on walling, and it is the least functional wall ever. Man. Queuing out on the map when he has map control is definitely not the play. Hey, Petey. I mean it. 
I've been playing the game for like 15 years, so don't worry about it. It just takes time, as long as you're having fun. All right. He's gonna get in, and unfortunately, we don't have a wall here. We need to get a wall here. Yeah, get a wall here. Then you're fine. Oh, we need a house here. At least close it. At least put the house here and close both holes. Like, now he can just go out. I mean, he could go out over here, though. We're up. You need a tower. You need a tower now, or bad things are gonna happen. Because you do not have enough skirms to fight these archers. And you do not have time to get to knights. So right now, you tower your gold, you're fine. You don't tower your gold, it's gonna be an economic disaster. He's gonna come all and take you off gold. Wait a sec, he's scared. Actually, he, yeah, I guess he doesn't have any spears, but, well, you don't have armor yet. He has, he has upgrades. He has forging, whoa, he has forging? He has sprints? Okay, that's kind of weird. All right, all right. You bought time by him being a little baby and running away. Very good. Where's light cap upgrade though? Man, knights over light cap upgrade when you have nine guys, hello? And then we're sending them in with no upgrades? Hello? Dude, what are you doing? You went up to Castle Age to get feudal armor? I can't believe this guy. I can't believe this. Man, stop. Like, you keep taking even fights when you need to take fights where you just dominate. That's the big problem. You're taking the taking the wrong battles. Like, if we just barely win, we can't even counterattack because we just barely won. If we just went light cav upgrade, we win that fight considerably better, and then we can go in and attack him. Anyways, neither player has army, so it's probably best to just boom. Go for that third, fourth, third TC. You seem to hate making a third TC right away as well. Like, how come we don't make a third TC? You're always two TC for way too long. There, there it is, but man, we gotta go three TC. This is so scary. We needed to be on skirm, I think. Against Britons, like, you really wanna keep the skirm mass. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're in. Okay. I believe. These archers could, or sorry, these knights can do a lot. Where's this archers? These archers are gonna, oh, we'll see if you can, we'll see if you see that, but these knights should do a lot. My cap feels hugely underrated at most dealos. It's, yeah, it's really good. Oh! He's sneaking. We saw it, but too late. We got one shot off, but it wasn't enough. And dude, like, why don't we wall? Dude, just wall. You're so close to walling properly, but not actually doing it. Wait, we're gonna go home? Okay, I, I mean, fair enough, he has a lot. You can clean this up if you bring everything back, so it's fine. You do need to get plus two. I think what you do is you wanna buy plus two right here. Even if it costs you villagers, like villager production, you wanna get plus two armor before taking this fight. That's what I would do. Opponent doesn't have ballistics, so you shouldn't be losing anything. Oof, two down. Yeah, cancel all the vills and get plus two armor before engaging. Or or just, yeah, yeah, cancel this vill. Just force drop this. No, 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 no. Each knight is so expensive. Okay, plus two, you have 50 seconds. You'll be okay. Just don't lose any more knights. Please don't lose this knight. <sighs> Taking this hill is really important too. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, get the knights in position. We're gonna be late. 15 seconds, we better be moving. We're too late. What are we doing? Are we waiting for the last knight? Wait. Dude, his, you know his army's over here. What are we doing? We moved our, our, our army over here. Oh boy. Taking time, like he's taking you off of resources here. We need to deal with this. Okay, he's just continuing to do damage. I guess you don't feel like you can take the fight, but I think you could've. Now we're gonna take the fight, but it's just like later for no reason. We needed to take the hill. It's all good. You should be trying to surround with a few of them though. All right, all right, his micro kind of failed pretty hard there. Uh, all right, that works. Look, look, like we didn't need to wait for all of those knights though. We could have gotten, we could have gone as soon as plus two was in, we take him, we put him away, 
or like uh, deal with his units, and then we get back to the gold a little bit earlier. So would have been a little bit better. But uh, well, your booming is okay. And husbandry, I like it. Okay, don't tell me you're gonna send the units into the center. Please raid the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he has ballistics, but yeah. Actually, I think you do you do raid the sides when you have these. It's it's just more of the the imp stuff where you tend to focus on the center. Okay, okay. He has an army which you can't really fight because he if he adds pikes, you really can't fight it. We need to have something else other than knights here. We need to have um we need to have siege workshop or we need to be on skirms. Siege Workshop against Britons is kind of tricky. So I would recommend Skirms. But it's hard to get into. You do have Fletching already, and you have the range. So it's not too bad. I mean, Full Knights can work if he just doesn't add Pikes. But he has a lot of Archers now. That's a lot of Archers. He could make a mistake and overcommit, though. Yeah, he might be overcommitting. Honestly, him going in here is... You'll be able to crush this. Oh, man, Knights! So, so the advantage that you have with knights is you have, you have mobility. You need to use that mobility to pick off his reinforcements. Basically, what you do, if you can't fight this army right now, you can fight every other army that he has. So basically, what you do, he he overcommits in. You kill his reinforcements while you're making your own reinforcements. You mass enough that you can take this. All these guys are dead, and then you kill these. That's how it should go. We don't want to let these get grouped with these. So we want to be here. And if he if he goes back to save his reinforcements, great. He's not in your base anymore. So we don't want to be sitting up here. We wanted to be de denying the resources or the uh, reinforcements. We should still win this fight though, right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Archer pathing is just like not really that great these days. It's it's not as good as it used to be. Back when attack move was good. I wish they would revert back to those days, honestly. With with the current like melee pathing, kind of. For for melee units at least. There we go. Okay, uh, Red is kind of throwing his units. He needed to have pikemen. The Age of Knights is here. Crossbone are great early castle age, and then knights kind of get strong. Now he's adding pikes, but well, is it going to be too late? Probably not. Your economy is quite far behind now. And no wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow coming in now. Yeah, he's got pikes. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Killing his uh, killing his army here again is pretty good. And he's losing pikes. What is this castle? He has... Like, you lost your entire army, basically, and he's making pikes. He's going to overwhelm in, like, two seconds here. This castle is way too far forward. Like, you don't respect this at all. He's ahead in the score, and we have 10 knights. So if you're going to get this castle, it's going to be like a sneak castle. Um, you basically would need to draw his army back here, have the vills just go naked, and hope that he doesn't send anything out, and then you get the castle up. But then, even if you get this castle, it's not that big of a deal, because he doesn't have any res here. This castle here would have covered the, uh, the TC and all the production. I think castle here, imp, ballistics... Then you're killing his pikes as they come out. Here doesn't do anything. I mean, it's it's good to defend the center. Like, it is good to have, but it's just... He has more. This was never going to go up. As I said, like, he he just floods. You needed to go and put this... You, you needed to draw his army back. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was just never going to be good here. Now we're forced to put it back here. It's fine, but like... Okay, forging. Do you need forging? What are the knights going to do in this battle? Zero. We needed to go for a, a tech switch into skirms. 100%. Adding stables here is not going to help you. Either go imp. Or go skirms. Make it more knights. Not going to be good. Looks like we're queued up to imp. Wait, no, we didn't queue to imp. We just queued up billion knights. That's all of our imp money. Our imp money. Okay, raiding is probably not the play. I think, like, if you're gonna go for a big castle... Oh, unless... Nah, it's not his imp. 
Can you imagine that was his MTC, though? Can you imagine? It's not, though. It's not really... It's not really good. You won't even get it, right? Maybe. You're gonna lose a few knights for this, though. Oh, yeah, you're not even gonna get it. Although, wait a sec. His pikes are out of position. Now you come back and kill all of his guys, and he can't hit arb timing properly? Actually, this could be huge. This could be huge if you go straight here. If you go, if you cut off his re, his uh, escape route, no, 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 you gotta go at the same time. Don't send one in. Oh, this could be sick. This could be actually huge. His guys are all back here. You baited them all back. Oh, huge. Go, 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 go. Oh, he, he's going. Yeah, you went kind of the long way around though. Okay, you gotta get on this side. And the surround was not there. You can't just patrol in. But if you can kill all of his pikes before Halb comes in, could be okay. Actually, this is an okay fight. You're gonna kill everything. Wait a sec. And your imp. Ah, it's like barely enough again. You killed his arbs though, that's really good. All right, all right, I, I believe, okay. I believe. You killed his arbs? What is he gonna need to do? He's gonna need to make more army. He can't do a tech switch to something that kills skirms right now because he just lost everything. And you, you're still on knights. Like if he, if he went light cav, which is what he wants to be on, you, you're on knights, it's whatever. Although light cav and ants, helps with siege would probably be good he could make a castle forward if you go skirms right now you're actually good and that's what you're doing no ballistics still man you need ballistics three games in a row no ballistics i can't even believe this you're italians you have cheap ballistics too like where's the ballistics you guys need to go to school Raiding with the knights, I like it. Just try not to lose him for free, though. Like, okay, 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 stop. Stop raiding the center, please. Might I interest you in hitting these houses and trying to get in the back? Would be very nice. All right. He has a pretty crazy position now, though. We need to max out. I, I believe, though. I believe. We need handcart. Oh, Warwolf's gonna be kind of kind of tricky to deal with, but let's see the skirms. Still no ballistics, dude. Please get ballistics. Please. Still have a good vill count. You just gotta get that pop up. Gotta get those houses down. Oh my god, Warwolf on the Skirms is gonna be a disaster. Oh god. You know about it. How can, can you not see your guys missing? Like, man. Oof. Get ballistics. We don't need Cavalier, we need ballistics. Buddy. Actually, Cavalier's still a good choice. But, ballistics. Please. Okay, your army's better than his. Or at least like bigger in number. Okay, 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 okay. Don't don't Man, why why we go for this? Yo, it was okay. You were fine. You were fine. You just needed ballistics. Your army actually could have beaten his with a micro on the hill. You kill all you kill all these and then the cavalier go in. You had full upgrades on these. You actually had enough here in this fight. This actually could have been an easy fight. I mean, not easy, but like could have been a win. Okay, like, what do we have? It's 40 skirms versus 19 halbs and 17 arbs. That that seems like a pretty good fight, right? If you had ballistics. Just patrol in. The cavalier just, like, run around. They don't even do anything. Once the halbs are dead, cavalier snipe the trebs. Suddenly... Well, you know, he is floating a million gold, but still. We could have set that up. We didn't need to go to the low ground. Like, what did we do? Yeah, you're, you're targeting the, the wrong things. We don't need to target the arbs ever here. And also, without ballistics, like, three games in a row with no ballistics. That's obviously something that you need to not forget. And, and you need to look at what your units are doing as well. Like, it's it's... One of the more obvious upgrades to know when you don't have. So we just need to pay attention in the fights. Look at the projectiles. 
yeah, you are right. He has the, the gold. Both golds being down here meant that this area was always going to be really important if it's going to be even. Um, but yeah, your, your main issue this game was not going skirms earlier in Castle Age. As soon as you saw that he was on pikes, like as soon as you saw these barracks going up, you can go skirms and imp. It can be very good. Like you can go imp first with a castle. This castle was bad, but like if you got a castle here and went imp. With ballistics, this castle ranges everything here, so you can't go through here. You go imp, skirms. Then you have the you had some knights. Knight skirm, gonna be very good. Alright. GG's. All, all those games were good though. Pretty long though. 